I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to look at multi band compression using Maximus in FL Studio. So I've got this track. It's sounding good, but I think we could really emphasize it with some multi band compression on the master channel. So we could bring it out a bit and make it sound a bit more punchy. Okay, so I've just loaded in a Maximus uh, instance on my mask channel here. So by default, this isn't going to do anything to the sound on the, uh, on the standard preset. So I've just loaded in the default preset. Uh, so what have you got here? I'd recommend also make, pressing enter on this to make this one full screen because you need to look at the graphs and edit the graph as well. So I'm just going to make this one full screen now. So as you can see now, we've got... So the key thing here is you've got the master track here, which is green. You've got the high, high band frequency, the mid band and the low. So they've all got these switches uh, where you can basically turn the compression off or mute that band entirely or just completely turn off. So you can have the, the pre-game functionality still on, but none of the compression will be working if you've got it in comp off mode. On is obviously with the compression added and then muted is just completely off muted. And off is just bypassing entirely. So you might want to have some, uh, let's have a listen to this. So I'm just going to have a listen to the low end now. You've got solo options, so you can solo out the low end band. So what you want to do is maybe add a bit of compression to kind of squash the low end and keep it a bit more, less dynamic. You want to really have that driving sound coming through. So you want to add a point on this curve effectively, and that's where you're going to set the threshold. And then the next curve is where you're setting the ratio. So we're increasing the ratio as we bring this down. So uh, the ratio is on the side here. So we, if we come down to about three ratio, with this curve, you can introduce a slight diff bit of knee effectively. It's the same thing as knee on a normal compressor. So you can see as we bring it down, there's more compression added. Now you can see the compression here on the graph on the right side. So you can see where the compressor is being triggered. If you click that waveform, it actually pauses it. So if you want to take a look at it in more detail, you can pause it as well. Okay, so we've added a bit of compression to the low end there. We can also add some pre-gain to maybe drive it a bit harder. It's probably creating a bit too not much dynamic there, so we'll dial that back a bit. Moving over to the right hand side here, you've got the attack and release for this. There's also a sustain, sustain knob on uh, Maximus, which is quite interesting to play with. It can create a different kind of curve effectively. So let's just increase the release and move the sustain and have a look at what happens. So I've increased the release here, so we've got more of a, a long, the compressor is taking longer to, to let go of its compression basically. So it's compressing more. You can see I've really accentuated that there. So as we move the sustain, it holds the compression for longer. So you can see now that the wave is much longer. So this is a unique, I don't think many compressors have a sustain. It's quite unique to Maximus, this one. You can also compress just the peak or the RMS here. So if you wanted to compress the RMS overall volume loudness, that's also an option there. Just going to move over to the mid band now. I'm soloing out the mid band. So let's introduce some compression to the mid band. So you can see where the frequency is hitting here on the graph as that peaks up. So anything below that is going to be compressed now. So you can see I've introduced some compression. Or a much, much higher ratio now. So this curve would not do anything, it's just basically anything that's in that range. You can also go the other way with this and do an expanding. So you can use this not only as a compressor but an expander. We're just looking to add some compression here. So we're just taking the kick really on that. 
Down here you've got the ability to mono out the signal or actually make it more stereo. So per band. So a good technique for that is to mono out your low frequencies. So I'm just going to adjust the attack now to adjust when the compressor comes in. Raising the attack actually gives you more of the uh, transient on your sound. You can just press solo again to hear the entire mix. So now we've got a nice solid, solid low end. Let's have a look at them. Let's have a look at the mids now. We can maybe add a bit of pre. So introducing the pre is now going to make the compression higher because it's basically peaking much further up this graph now. So we can see where the compression is. So moving it down really adds all the compression to those all the elements in the mid really. We're just looking to tame it a bit. Maybe add a bit of release. So it gives a bit of pumping in the mids. Let's take a look at the highs now quite sharp, might want to come in there and adjust those. Just try and like calm the highs down a bit. Also experiment with adding a bit of stereo width on the high end. Okay, so I'm just going to AB this with the uh, dry signal and then have a listen to the multiband compression. Then engaging. So we've compressed all the frequencies individually there. Now we can boost up the master a bit. You can also add a little bit of saturation with these two knobs down below. So let's just engage the saturation, just moving the threshold a tiny bit engages it. So you can bring down the ceiling of when the saturation is going to be triggered. So you can see that's an extreme setting there, moving it up. going over here now you've got the monitor uh, so you can look at the bands so you can basically split where the frequencies are for your low mid and high bands so moving this one we can adjust where the low band sits so if you just wanted to focus in on the uh, kick drum maybe and the bass line you can so now you can really hone in on those frequencies dial it back a bit there You can obviously increase where the high end is as well. So maybe let a bit more into the mid band there. Okay, there's also a low cut, which is really useful. You can adjust the uh, slope between the low, and mi the, the low, basically the slope between the bands using that, either a 12 dB or a 24 dB. Experiment, see what works best for you. If you wanted to add some compression then on the master as well, you could do so here. Or even as an expand.
Okay, so let's just remind ourselves how it sounded before the compression. Let's engage the compression now and have a listen to that. In this video, we've looked at multiband compression on the master using Maximus.